Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be sharing with you my setup video in my passion planner. I will be setting up April 2024 with you. But before I start setting up my passion planner, I wanted to share with you this fun and new portable printer from Lean. I wanted to thank Lean for sponsoring this video and sending me this adorable portable printer. As you guys know, I love printing small photos for my calendars in my passion planner. This is something I've done for years. I love to look at my calendar and see all the fun things we did throughout the month. And to be able to print these photos out, I like to use portable printers. These printers are small. They fit into whatever bag you're carrying. Basically, even me who carries small, tiny bags, you can travel with this. If you're traveling and you want to keep journaling and printing your photos and documenting your, you know, your travels, this is a great printer for you. Also, these printers are inkless. You don't have to be buying ink and switching it out, which I love because one of the things I hate about printers is ink and especially that inks are expensive. So you don't have to worry about that. But if there's no ink, your photos are not going to be crisp and clear. That's something you're not never going to get from a portable printer like these because it's inkless. So if you're expecting great quality photos, you're not getting that from in any uh, portable printer. So I just wanted to say that. That's why I love using these printers for my planners, for my smaller projects, maybe your daily journal. But if I'm working in my project life or something like that, I'm using a different photo printer for sure. With that said, the photo paper is adhesive, so it has that sticky backing. And so you're not having to use your own adhesive or trying to, you know, stick down these small, tiny photos, especially like my book covers. They're so small. It's going to be pretty annoying. So I like to print these with my portable printers. Now I went ahead and started printing because I wanted to see the quality and I'm really, really liking this printer. And I want to share with you how to use it, what you get in your little box and we're going to print a few photos for March. So let's get to it. This printer prints two by three photos. For my passion planner, I like to use a collage to print four photos on that two by three photo paper so they can fit in my calendar. But if you want to keep the two by three, you can definitely do that. You want to create a collage, you can also do that as well. But you just have to remember that your photos are like, going to print really small. Um, but that's what I'm looking for when I'm printing for my planner. Now, this is the box you get with, with your printer. And it comes with five sheets of photo paper, sticky backing, and I've already added it into my printer. You also get a manual. It has a QR code so you can download your Lean uh, app. And once you download the app, it connects to your photo printer and you can start printing. You also get a charger so you can charge your printer, which I have already done. That's why I opened this earlier. And basically you can start printing. Now for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use my mm -hmm. iPad because it's larger. And I usually do like a screen recording, but nobody's got time for that. So we're gonna just use my iPad for this. This is the app, the Lean app. And once you open the Lean app, it's gonna tell you that your printer's offline. So you're gonna to have to click the side button and it's gonna turn white. That means that your, uh, your printer is on and then it's gonna show up here. I do want to connect it. So I'm gonna look and connect my printer to my iPad and there's my printer. So I'm just gonna click that. Once it's connected, I can go back and start printing. I'm gonna click that classic photo print and I'm gonna choose my photos and I'm going to choose my collage here of four photos. Like I said earlier, I usually do collages on a collage app 
and then I print them because I want the four photos on my two by three photo paper for my calendar. So I just grab that photo that I've created on a different app. I'm gonna click the check mark and then I want to print. Now for me, I just wanna print it as is, but you can definitely play with your photo on the app. You can add a border, you can make it a Polaroid, you know, you can kind of enhance, uh, let me see here. Yeah, filter, enhance, so either one. Like, But for me, like I said, I don't usually do anything with my photo. And all I do is just click on print and it's going to try to connect with the printer and print my two by three photo that has four photos basically. But this is my go-to when printing small photos for my planner, for my smaller projects. I find it to be fast, easy, and quick. And now it's starting to print my photo. I'm gonna say this again. The quality of these printers are not going to be top-notch, right? You just have to kind of ignore that if you wanna use these types of printers. And so as a scrapbooker, I know how important it is for our photos to be like top-notch quality. But for me, for these types of projects, I don't mind them not being like perfect, right? I just want to capture that photo and add it into my project. So I printed my collage and I wanna share with you really quickly how I'm gonna add this photo to my calendar. So I'm gonna come in here, open March. And I try to do this every few weeks. Uh, I don't print all of them all at once. As you can see, I already have some photos on here, but I just trim them apart. And because these are on like adhesive photo paper um, and it has the sticky backing, I can just remove the back of this and just stick it down, which is awesome. I love it. It's so simple and easy. Just FYI, we got a new dog. Yes. Hopefully I will be documenting her soon, but her name is Aria and I love documenting her. She is the cutest thing ever. And I'm just adding my photos in the right spot. So the day I took that picture, I love that I don't have to add my own adhesive to stick these down and they fit perfectly and I love it. So I have a few more to fill in and I can do that, you know, when I'm free or whatever. But for now, I just wanted to share with you how easy it is to print your photos using the lean printer and you can create these collages. If you want a full sheet, you can do that and add it in your daily journal. I just love these printers. And I did want to mention that I have a discount code for lean, the lean printer, which I have linked in the description box for you. So if you're looking for a mini portable printer inkless with, you know, photo paper, adhesive photo paper, and easy to use, I definitely recommend it. I've been using it for the past few days and I'm really enjoying these photos that I'm printing out. And I will be using the Lean printer as well to print in my creative journal and also in my Project Life journal. I'm really excited to have this in my stash, making my life easier when putting together these calendars. But anyways, let's get to it. I do want to set up April in my Passion Planner. Um, we are already in like the last two weeks of March and it's coming together really nicely. Actually, I will do a quick flip through for you. So basically, I just have to fill out my calendar and I also do need to print out my like book covers as well. But March is coming together nicely. It is Ramadan. So the whole theme is Ramadan. I have been using these stickers for the month of Ramadan, this is a printable that you can grab from my website. It's just the phases of the moon. And I changed the colors of my printable because I wanted to like it kind of mellow in this space. So I can add more color here, if that makes sense. So you're going to see that they look a little bit different than last year's. 
but that's because I kind of played around with the colors. So this is March. We're going to start working on April. So basically, I'm going to put you on fast forward and voiceover so we can put these spreads together quickly. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my passion planner. I'm going to start with my calendar. And as always, I'm going to use my craft sticker paper to cover up the column on the side. And I'm going to use that space to add my week numbers. This week, I decided to change up my week numbers with slightly smaller ones, just because the ones I was using before are a little bit too big and they kind of fall too low off of each column if that makes sense so i decided to go smaller and this is a number stamp set from studio calico once i stamp out the week numbers i'm going to use the bottom portion of my calendar for my books what i've been reading through the month and so i'm going to use my reading with hiba book stamp which is available now on my website and i'm going to stamp the book stack and I will also stamp the open book as well in the corner. If you're new here and you don't know what I use that bottom space for, it's for kind of keeping track of how many books I read throughout the month. And the open book that I stamp in the corner is usually where I add how many books I read. Once I'm done with my calendar, I'm going to move on to my first week of April. So as you can see, I've already doodled something. And honestly, I wasn't going to film this, but then I decided I would. And so I had already doodled something for week one of April. But as always, I'm going to start by stamping my little boxes. These little boxes are going to be the icons for my social media. I like to keep that space for social media and kind of keep track of my numbers and things like that. So I usually track YouTube, Instagram, and my book club. I will grab my pen and just fill them in. I'll also color them in with a gray Tombow marker and then add a drop shadow. This is basically on repeat. If you've been around here for a while, you know what I do first. I always set up the weeks first. And then I kind of have fun with my stamps on the bottom portion and I create something fun for each week. But for now, we're going to do the boring stuff and I'm going to complete this and fill this out and then move on to the next portion of my setup. Now that I'm done with that, I can move on to my reading. I like to track my reading daily, so I use that top portion of each day to track my reading. I just stamp out reading in the box right underneath the days of the week. And if I read that day, I will highlight it. And if I didn't, I don't. So it's an easy way to look through the weeks and see when I've like had major reading slumps and when I've been reading more. So I just like to kind of keep track of my reading, even though I do have a reading journal, but I still like to track it in my planner because I look at this every single day. Now I like to divide my day into two. So the top portion is my personal planning and the bottom portion is work planning. Just use that gray line that goes across the passion planner to write out work. And that way I can separate them and I have more space for work because really my personal planning is not much, especially that my kids are older now and stuff. 
So there's no marching band practice or orchestra or anything like that. So I need more space for work and it just works out for me perfectly. Anyways, we're moving on. I also do like to use that bottom box for my currentlies. And I like using these Everyday Explorers stamp sets because they have the cutest, adorable icons and they're small enough to fit within the lines. So I usually track what I'm currently reading, watching, and my Happy Mail. And just because I forget what I ordered or what's coming in, so I like to have some somewhere where I'm tracking that basically. I also do want to add my YouTube icon. This is where I track the videos that will be posting throughout the month and what I need to work on or what is coming up. I just want to have a place for me where I can see all my YouTube videos. And I've mentioned this before where I'm trying to cut down with my videos. So some weeks I'll have two videos going up and some will probably just have one. I just want to kind of focus on my membership and also on my shop and things like that. So I'm kind of trying to reduce the amount of videos that I produce. Anyways, I will cover up the to-do list uh, in a black Posca pen. Then I'm gonna grab my white gel pen and write over the black with currently. Uh, it's just because I'm tracking my currently's in that space. I'm not doing a to-do list. So I like to cover that up. And I found that the black Posca pen is the best way to go just because uh, the gel pen doesn't like seep through the pen, if that makes sense. Uh, when I've used markers, it just never works. So I found that paint pens work better. I will grab my weekend finally stamp from Everyday Explorers to stamp by the weekend. And then I'm going to grab some different words or words of encouragement to add in the little boxes in the corner. I like to use just fun words that fill in that space perfectly. And also at some point, one of the weeks is Eid. So we will be celebrating Eid very soon. And I thought this is a great place for me to stamp out Eid. And I love how that fit perfectly. And while I had the stamp out, I actually stamped it again on the day of Eid. I also stamped out some lanterns. This is an old Kelly Perky stamp that I got to collaborate with her to create a fun Ramadan stamp set. I'm just gonna use that to add some color for Eid. I am done adding all the stamping. And now I can use my little sticker book to cover up the quotes. Well, it doesn't cover up the, quote, the quotes. You can still see them. They are transparent, but it's a great way to, for me to add some color to my week. And also, I just want to fill in that space, but also see the quotes. So I'm just using the smaller sticker book. This sticker book is probably from Stationery Pal. And it's small, It's you don't have to trim it or anything like that, but it's not big enough to cover the whole space. But I'm trying to finish it up. I'm trying to use as much as possible from it just so I don't waste it. But once I'm done with that little booklet, I'm gonna go back to the ones I purchased from Amazon. I feel like they fit perfectly in that space, even though I have to trim it a tiny bit but they just fit better. Anyways, I also am tracking Ramadan. As I shared earlier in my flip through, I've been using my printables to track Ramadan and just use that space to add what I'm thankful for that day. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down my little stickers, just a nice little add-on to kind of celebrate Ramadan. And when I flip through my planner, uh, it kind of reminds me that that month was the month of Ramadan. Okay, now that I'm done setting up my month, I can start playing. I'm gonna first start coloring in my doodle. Uh, like I said earlier, I doodled this myself. Obviously, I got some inspiration off Pinterest, and so I created this and decided to color it in, 
and also add some stars. So for the stars, I'm gonna use stamps because for the life of me, I cannot draw stars. So I'm just gonna grab some of my uh, Ramadan and Eid stamp sets. I believe this stamp is from D Stamps. I will link her in the description box for you, but she has adorable Eid and Ramadan stamp sets. It's gonna use it to add my stars. I will also color them in and I'm going to move on to my next week just because I've already doodled everything. It came together pretty quickly. And for week two of April, I'm gonna document Eid or I want to kind of focus on Eid. And so I'm gonna start with these large alphas from Studio Calico. And I'm gonna stamp Eid with some yellow ink. I just love how yellow ink or the color yellow always makes everything pop. So I, it's like my go-to color. And I'm just going to stamp out Eid. And then I'm going to stamp out Mubarak. Uh, again, I'm going back to the D stamp uh, stamp set here. And then I will also stamp a moon. I go back to my Kelly Perky Ramadan stamp set to stamp out a masbaha. This is something we use while we pray. And so once I'm done with that, I'm just going to add some black washi. I felt like the title was floating, so I decided to add washi tape. I'll come back to that layout and add color and little tidbits just to complete it. But for now, I'm moving to week three, and I'm going to be using my own Sema Alpha stamps. These stamps are available in my shop now, and I'm going to stamp out springtime because it's spring. I'm so excited for it, and I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm just going to use my Alpha stamp to spell that out. I'm going to use some of the icons and the doodles to add to the, the title. I even stamped my B and I'm just adding little short lines to create like where the B traveled. And I will color in my B and my title. It's very simple, basic, but I love it because once I flip through my planner and I see this, I'll know that it was spring and I was excited for it. So for week four, I'm going to be stamping trees. I have this stamp set from the paper person shop. I love it. I don't use it enough. And this is why I love using the space in my passion planner for things like this because I get to use my stamps. So I'm going to be stamping just a bunch of trees next to each other. I'll go back and forth between different browns and greens. I even add a pop of pink as well. I will also go through my spring stamp sets and stamp a little quote uh, next to my trees, keeping it very simple. Basically, this is a long month and I don't want my setup video to be extremely long and I just don't want to be sitting in my craft room <laughs> all day doing this. I think this setup took me about an hour. Obviously, you don't see the whole hour because I edit my videos, but it did take a good hour to put this together. And so by the end of the setup, I'm so done with it. I just want to put this together as fast as possible. Anyways, I'm done with week four. Let's move on to week five where I'm going to be using my Me, Myself, and I stamp set from Studio Calico to stamp the females on each side with the speech bubbles. And I'm going to fill in the speech bubbles with fun little things. <laughs> so as you guys know, I love to clean. And spring cleaning is my favorite because I do my deep, deep cleaning. Then I kind of get rid of a lot of stuff. I clean the closets, all the things. So basically one is saying it's springtime and I think the other says it's um, spring cleaning or something. I just thought it was funny. It's so me. So I just fill in the speech bubbles. I'll also add some flowers and things like that just to fill in the spaces. One thing I wish I did was add borders to this one. I feel like it needed a border, but I'll go back in at some point and do that. But for now... 
my setup is complete. I love how everything turned out. I just want to color in a few things from the other pages. Like I totally forgot to color in my aid stamp and my lanterns and things like that. Uh, so I'll go back in there and complete those. And then I can call my layout done. And as always, I will have everything linked in the description box for you. I'll also link the lean printer as well. We do have a discount code. If you're thinking of grabbing one of those printers for yourself, make sure to use the discount code to save yourself some money when you purchase your printer. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.